Good morning, everyone. All right, today we are going to be learning the middle paragraphs. We are in what I like to call the meat of the essay. Okay, this is where we write lots of details, lots of examples. This is where all our support is. These are the biggest paragraphs of the essay. So before we dive into it, and I promise it's going to be a simple way to write your middle paragraphs, I want to do a quick review. I always like to start with a review. So far, you have learned how to plan for an essay. Well, first, we know how to read a prompt and find the keyword, right? And we know if it says explain or inform, it's an expository essay. And we've been working on expository for the last three weeks. And we learned when you need to plan, you're going to use an IRC outline that looks like this. We also learned that this planning outline is your roadmap. This is going to tell you every paragraph of your essay and what you're going to write about in every paragraph. So it's really, really important that you do plan using this outline. So I'm going to show you a couple examples that we've done. We did this one on the topic favorite animal. And I picked dog, so I wrote dog on the I and the C line. Whatever topic you pick, you write on the I and the C line. And then I came up with reason one, which is R1, that I like dogs is because they play with you. Reason two, which is R2, they do tricks. And reason three, which is R3, they can protect you. And then for each reason, I gave two details or examples to tell more about that reason. So to tell more about playing, they can play fetch and they can play frisbee. To tell more about tricks, they can roll over and they can give you paw. And to tell more about protecting, they can bark and they can keep you safe. All right. And then I put different color boxes around each part of the outline to show you the paragraphs. So this I paragraph is going to be your first paragraph of your essay. We learned how to write that already. The second paragraph of your essay is going to be all about dogs playing fetch and frisbee. The third paragraph of your essay is going to be about dogs doing tricks. You're going to talk about how they roll over and how they give paw. The fourth paragraph of your essay, you're going to talk about how dogs protect you, how they bark and keep you safe. And then your conclusion is your fifth. So this tells you all five paragraphs and exactly what to write in each paragraph. Okay, so we learned planning. And then the last two times we've worked on the I paragraph. I taught you how to write this first paragraph. Now, as a reminder, the introduction paragraph, which we also call the I paragraph, has three parts. The first sentence is a hook where we either ask a statement, or I mean, give a statement or ask a question. The second sentence is where we state our three reasons. And the third sentence is where we give our closing statement. So hook, three reasons, closing. I don't know why this keeps freezing. Let me go out and back again. Ooh, my document camera is not happy today. Hang on, let me unplug it and plug it back in. Make sure I can show you guys how to write each paragraph. All right. Hmm. That's not good. Okay. I'm going to try one more time and then I'm going to go to my computer and just type it out for you. All right. So with introduction, think about the three sentences. I just showed you them a second ago. See if you can remember the three sentences that are in an introduction paragraph. The three sentences that are in an introduction paragraph, okay? The first sentence you should remember is your hook. Your second sentence is where you name your three reasons, and your third sentence is your closing, okay? And we learned how to do that. And for favorite animal, if we were going to do dog, 
and I was going to write my introduction paragraphs. Remember that I start with a hook. My hook is highlighted in blue. I said, do you have a favorite animal? Then I name my three reasons, which look over here. My three reasons are play, tricks, protect. I said, my favorite animal is a dog because they can play, comma, they can do tricks, comma, and they can protect you, period. And then I did my closing statement where you just say something nice about the topic. Dogs are the best. That's my introduction paragraph. So you've learned how to plan and you've learned how to write this first paragraph. And today I'm going to show you how to write the next paragraph, which is R1. Now, the way that you write R1 is the same way you write R2 and R3. So it's the same thing that I'm going to show you. All right. So let's use this planning about dogs being our favorite animal. Now we already have the introduction paragraph written. I'm gonna make some lines. Okay, I'm gonna rewrite my introduction paragraph real quick because I want it to be a little bit smaller. So I'm going to indent. And I'm gonna start with a hook. I'm gonna ask a question. I'm gonna say, do you have a favorite animal? Now I'm gonna state my three reasons. My favorite animal is a dog because they can play, comma, they can do tricks, comma, and they can protect you. Remember, I named my three reasons, play, tricks, protect. Play, tricks, Protect. And now my closing statement, I'm just going to say something nice about the topic. Dogs are the best. Okay. And I indented. That is my I paragraph. Okay. So I'm going to put a check next to I because I'm done with that paragraph. Now, ooh, what is happening today, guys? All right. Now we're going to learn how to write the R1 paragraph. Now, I'm going to teach you something. I'm going to write it right at the end of R1. It's called T3A, I'm sorry, 2A and 2B. T, 2A, and 2B. Okay, what this means, T stands for topic, and your topic is play. All right, now. Here's how the topic sentence goes. It's very, very easy. You're gonna indent because you're starting a new paragraph. So I'm gonna leave that space. And because it's my first reason, I'm gonna start with the transition word first. So I'm gonna put first, comma, and I'm gonna write my topic sentence, which is telling the reader what my topic is. I'm gonna say, my favorite animal is a dog because they can play. That's my first topic. First, My favorite animal is a dog because they can play, okay? That's my topic sentence, that's T, topic. You're just telling your reader what your topic is. You like dogs because they can play. So after you write your topic sentence, I'm gonna put a little check next to topic, now you have to write 2A. What that means is you're going to write two sentences about your A, which is fetch. 2A means write two sentences about your A, which is fetch. Okay, so I'm going to write two sentences about fetch. And you guys should just be watching right now. You don't have to write this. You're just watching while I do it. So there's my T sentence, my topic. And actually, I'm going to put, I'm going to highlight topic in yellow, and then highlight my topic sentence in yellow so you can see it. All right, now I'm gonna do 2A. I have to write two sentences about my A. My A is fetch. 
So I'm going to say one way they play is by playing fetch, period. Now I have to write two sentences. That's just one sentence. One way they can play is by playing fetch, period. That's one sentence. I have to write two A, two about A. All right, one more. If you throw the ball, they will bring it back. Because I'm telling my reader about fetch. That's two. So I wrote two sentences about A. So my two A, I'm going to do an orange. And I'm going to highlight my two sentences in orange. One way they can play is by playing fetch. That's one sentence. If you throw the ball, they will bring it back. That's two. So I wrote two about A, which is fetch. I wrote two about fetch. Okay, what's next? I did topic. I did 2A. Now I got to write 2B. Now I have to write two sentences about my B. Remember, this is an expository essay, so all I'm doing is explaining to my reader what my A and B are. So I have to write two sentences about B. B is Frisbee. So I'm going to say another thing they play, or I'll put another game. Another game they play is Frisbee. Another game they play is Frisbee. Okay, that's just one sentence. I have to write two about B. So I have to write one more about my B, which is Frisbee. So I'm going to say they can catch it in their mouth. You know how dogs jump up and catch the Frisbee in their mouth? Okay, so I wrote two sentences about B. My B is going to be in pink, to be in pink. So let's see, do I have two cents about B? Another game they play is Frisbee. That's one. They can catch it in their mouth. That's two. So I wrote 2B. I am done with my R1 paragraph. I'm done with this R1 paragraph. Look right here. Where I have my finger right here. We already wrote I. That's up here. So I have a check by I. And now I'm going to put a check by R1. I'm done. I did my T to A to B. T was topic, then I wrote two about A and two about B, done. See how easy that is? That's it, it's five sentences because your topic sentence is one plus two A plus two B, that's five. I have it right here. You can see my topic sentence is in yellow. My two A sentences are in orange and my two B sentences are in pink. Remember, 2A just means I'm writing two sentences about my A, which is fetch. And 2B means I'm writing two sentences about B, which is frisbee. Okay, let's try the next one. Just keep watching for a minute because I want you to really make sure you're understanding this. I'm going to model one more for you. You put some new lines on this page here. Now we're on R2. R2, our third paragraph. Same thing. I'm going to do T, 2A, 2B. Okay. Remember, T stands for topic. Okay. So let's write this paragraph. My topic, watch where my, thing, where my marker is. My topic is tricks. So I have to write a sentence that says I like animals because, I mean, I like dogs because they do tricks. Since this is R2, I'm gonna start with the transition word second. Because remember over here, I started with the transition, for R1, I started with the transition word first. See right here first? Now I'm gonna start with second. And I'm going to indent because it's a new paragraph. This is a whole new paragraph. So I'm going to start with my T sentence topic, which is about tricks. And I'm going to indent 
I'm going to start with the transition word second, and I always put a comma after my transition word. Second, I like dogs because they do tricks, period. Does everybody see that? I'm starting this paragraph here, R2. I have to do T, 2A, 2B. I'm starting with T, which is my topic sentence. I know my topic is tricks. So all I have to say is I like dogs because tricks. So I'm saying second, I like dogs because they do tricks. I indented. I started with the transition word second because it's R2. I put a comma after my trans transition word. So my topic sentence is going to be in yellow. So I'm going to highlight this. We know that's the T sentence. Okay, what comes after the T sentence? What do I do now? Well, hopefully you said 2A. After T comes 2A. What does 2A mean? It means I have to write two sentences about my A, which is roll over. I got to write two sentences about dogs rolling over. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to say, One trick they can do is roll over. That's one sentence. I have to write two A, two about A. And remember, this is an expository, so I'm just explaining. I'm just need to explain this trick to my reader. Okay, so one trick they can do is roll over. Now I'm going to write one more sentence about it, and I'm going to say, if you move your hand, and tell them to roll over, they will go to their side. You know how if you say roll over, like with the roll over, and you go like that with the dog, it'll roll over to its side. That's what I'm explaining to them. So 2A, I had to write two sentences about A. These are gonna be in orange. Two sentences about rolling over. Let's see. One trick they can do is roll over. That's one. If you move your hand and tell them to roll over, they will go to their side. Two. I wrote two about A. Okay, let's see. I have T in yellow. I have my two cents about A in orange. Am I done with this paragraph? Hopefully you said, no, 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 you are not done. You have to do 2B. Ugh. Goodness gracious, what is going on today? I have to do 2B. My B is that dogs can give you paw. See right here where my finger is? I have to write two sentences about how dogs can give you paw. I'm still in the same paragraph. So I'm going to say, they can also give you paw. They will put their <laughs> they will put their paw in your hand. All right, I wrote two sentences about B. I'm gonna put these in pink, my 2B. Let's see. They can also give you paw. That's one sentence. They will put their paw in your hand. That's two sentences. I'm gonna come over my planning. So far, we go back to the beginning. All of this is my I paragraph. Right, so I put a check next to I. I'm done with I, look what the marker is. All of this is my R1. 
I have a check next to R1 because I'm done. And then now all of this is my R2. So I'm gonna come put a check next to R2. Oh my goodness, I'm almost done with my essay. All I have left is R3. Look at my finger over here on the left where my nail is. All I have left is R3 and C. I already wrote three paragraphs. Look how easy that was. Very, very, very easy. Okay, now I want you to take out paper and pencil. Okay, we are going to write the third reason paragraph. Now, for this paragraph, if you look over on your planning where it says R3, see where it says protect, and then my A says bark, my B says safe. This is what you are going to write about. And you're going to do the same thing we've been doing. You're going to do T, All right, let's unplug it and plug it one more time. Okay, you're gonna do, you're writing this paragraph that's in pink, the R3 about dogs protecting and how they can bark and keep you safe. You have to write T, 2A, 2B. Remember, your T sentence is your topic. T stands for topic. And you're writing this about how they protect you. You have to make sure that you start this paragraph by indenting and with the transition word. We've already used the transition word first for R1. We use second for R2. Now you're going to be on R3. So make sure you indent and start with the correct transition word. Write your T sentence and then 2A and 2B. Okay, I'm going to give you about four or five minutes. I'm going to go over with you before we end today's lesson, okay? I want you just to write this next paragraph on your paper. T, 2A, and 2B. You may begin.
okay, you might still be working on it. That's okay. But I do want to start um, showing you the example of how to do it just because of time. So I want you to make sure that you indented because it's a new paragraph. Remember, we are on R3, which if you look over here is highlighted in a pink box. You indented, you should have started with third because we have to start with a transition word. And this is our third reason, third comma. Our first sentence is our topic sentence about dogs being our favorite animal because they protect you. So I'm gonna say third, dogs are my favorite because they protect you. Done, so I did my T, my topic, I'm done, put a little check next to T. Now that I wrote my T sentence, which I'm gonna highlight in yellow, I'm done with my T. Now I have to write two A, two sentences about my A, which is bark. So I'm gonna say, They will bark at strangers, period. That's one sentence. They will also bark if you're in trouble and need help. All right, I did two sentences about barking. I'm gonna do my 2A in orange. They will bark at strangers, that's one. They will bark if you're in trouble and need help, that's two. So come back over here, I did two about A, I'm put a little check here. Next I have two B, which is they'll keep you safe. I'm gonna write two about B. So I'm gonna say, they can help keep you safe, period. Dogs will attack people who try to hurt you. Done. Okay, so now I'm going to highlight my two B sentences in pink. They can keep you safe. Dogs will attack people who try to hurt you. And guess what? I'm done with my R3. I'm gonna come right over here to R3 and put a big old check. We wrote almost the whole essay in less than 30 minutes. The only thing you still have to learn is C paragraph. Other than that, you wrote I, R1, R2, and R3. See how easy that is? If you just remember T, 2A, 2B, that's how you write all of your middle paragraphs. I wanna put it all out for you real quick before I end the lesson for today. I'm gonna to see if I can make this so you can see it. Okay. I want to look real quick. This is our I paragraph. We have our hook, our three reasons are closing. This is our one. We started, we indented because it's a new paragraph. We started with first. Look at our two. We start with second. Our three is down here. Mark this here, our three. We started with third. You always got to start with a transition word. And you always put a comma after your transition word. Okay, I know that one's hard to see, put it right there. First comma, second comma, third comma. Remember the three reasons I like dogs are play, tricks, and protect. So look right here. This first paragraph is my favorite animal is a dog because they can play. That's why I wrote about play. Next one's tricks. Second, I like dogs because they can do tricks. So I talk about tricks. Next one's protect. Third, dogs are my favorite because they can protect you. See how I named my three reasons up here in the beginning and then I talked about each one? That's what you're doing. You're giving your reader a little preview here and you're talking about each one. If you just look at the colors, every time you see a yellow sentence, that's my topic sentence. T, I just call it T for short, topic sentence. Every time you see orange is where I wrote about my 2A. And anytime you see pink is where I wrote my 2B. So you'll see every middle paragraph is set up the same. 
T, 2A, and 2B, right? There's my T sentence, my 2 about A, my 2 about B. Come over here. Here's my T sentence, here's my 2A, and pink is my 2B. Over here, here's my T sentence, here's my 2A, 2B. Just remember T, 2A, 2B, and that's how you write your middle paragraphs. I told you this was going to be easy today. All right, so that is it for today. Next week, we'll work on middle paragraphs a little bit more. You'll have much more practice to do, so make sure you come with paper and pencil ready, and enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. Bye.